I'm pissed. Jim Sterling? I'm not touching that. That motherfucker has gotten so political recently. I, I really don't want to fucking cover it, to be honest. Like, I'm not really interested in covering politics and shit. I can't and that's basically all he talks about at this point. Pothead Investor with the 2. H3 is a traitor to all YouTubers. I mean, he's definitely not making the platform a better place. That's for sure. Absolutely. fucking lootly Jesus with the 2. I heard Wolfenstein 3 is hot garbage. Not worth it. What do you mean? Young Blood? Yeah. Young Blood's really bad. It's like some level-based, almost RPG first. It's really weird. It's like Borderlands, but shitty and linear. I don't know. Yeah, no, you heard right. It's it's not very good. Political YouTubers are the definition of... Bro, that's the thing. I don't know. Like, I've, I've never once... Anytime I hear a political conversation on any social media platform, I walk away feeling dumber. <laughs> like dead ass I walk away just feeling like why the fuck is the human race so fucking stupid because it doesn't matter if it's on Twitter YouTube Twitch fucking Facebook Instagram whenever people on social media start talking about politics it is the dumbest shit you will ever witness like it always descends to a level of just pure fucking like anarchy I don't know man Doom Deer with the 50 pesos. Appreciate it, man. All these dumb... All these dumbs hating on Battlefield 2042 don't even know it's a prequel to Battlefield 2142, my favorite Battlefield. And it was freaking multiplayer only. They only know Battlefield 3 and 4. I know, bro. But even if they only know Battlefield 3 and 4, like, they would know that the campaigns in those games are fucking garbage, bro. Like, that's the thing. Is like literally Battlefield campaigns, especially in Battlefield 3 and 4, are like the most boring, generic, just overall unenjoyable shit on earth. And they're acting like, oh my god, there's like this major loss that we can't play the campaign this time around. It's like, bro, nobody wanted to play the campaign in the first place. They just did it to unlock guns. So that's the thing. I don't know, man. SYS Lewis with the 10, a Griff the Goat, timing impeccable, just punched in for a shift. Thank you for the at work entertainment. No problem, man. Hopefully your shift goes by pretty quickly. And then Adrian Navarro with the 2, want to play Halo together? Yeah, maybe later, man. I can add you on Xbox after the stream. Just um, let me know on Discord or actually probably Steam would probably work better. I don't know, it just depends. But yeah, we can figure it out. And then Artyom Melnikov with the five E social media be like that? Facts. Abs of fucking lootly, bro. Like, no one is more intelligent after talking about politics on social media. That's all I'll say. I mean in general, I think if you go on Twitter, you walk away with less intelligence than you began with. <laughs> like it's pretty bad. And Game Fire Crybodier? Hopefully I said that right. With the 20? Keep up the good work. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. And hey, Seuss with the 10. Last one for the night for me. Thanks for being non political. It's a breath of fresh air to listen to quality roast of the gaming brainlets. Remember, keep dreaming, yong out. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks so much. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like, whenever you get into politics, it just it pisses off more people than it pleases overall. Like, you can never win. You're either not extreme enough for somebody or you are you don't agree with them. Like, it's really weird. Like, there are times where I've touched on political shit and people have gotten mad at me for not going far enough. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I don't know. That type of shit pisses me off. Can't wait for Dying Light 2? Me too, man. That game's going to be great. Dying Light 2 is going to be really fire. I mean, it looks great overall.
Stop talking about talking about politics. Make me. I bought the collectors for that game. I was thinking about getting it, but I just... Like, this is the problem. Like, I'll buy a collector's edition, and I'll literally just leave the little statue or whatever in the box. I'll never display it. It just literally sits in a closet somewhere, and it turns out to be a complete waste of money. So I've kind of, like, tried to stop buying them in general, just because I had too many of them at one point. I ended up just giving a bunch of them to, like, Goodwill. Griffin is stunning and brave. That's right, man. It takes true bravery to make a YouTube video. The only, like, game collector's edition statues I still have are the Halo Reach one because that one's just really cool. I have the Gears of War 3 one because, personally, I really like Gears of War. I have the Bioshock Songbird which I have on my desk. The other two are in a box, which kind of proves my point. <laughs> but yeah, I have those in a box somewhere. I have my Songbird on my desk from Bioshock Infinite. And then I have the Halo 5 statue, which I actually use as bookends because that's what it is. Like the collector's edition came with bookends, which I don't really know why, but yeah. Post the bird in Discord. I mean, I would, but I'd have to get up. I would have to stand up, man, and that's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. So, Adrian Navarro, the five slandering your opposition is socially acceptable now as opposed to arguing actual points. Chank, nephew, Hasanabi. H3 and Vosh do this all the time. I mean, I don't really watch them, to be honest, man. Dude, I, like, literally, especially H3, I've never fucking really watched them. But as far as Chank, Hassan, and Vosh, I've heard of them, but I just don't watch them. So I don't really know what the fuck they do, to be honest, man. I think people think the president has way more power than he really has. Yeah, definitely. The president, in all reality, can't do shit. I mean, unless they can do an executive order, which even those, those don't hold up all the time. But yeah, they really can't do anything without Congress for the most part. That's why it's so crucial that they won in the midterms. Yeah, like, everybody thinks the president can just come in and do whatever the fuck he wants. It's like, it doesn't work that way. That's why a lot of people were disappointed with um, Obama in particular. Because, like, he was, like, promising to change a bunch of shit. And, you know, when it came down to it, even when, you know, his party won, imagine that, Democrats and Republicans don't want to do shit at the end of the day. <laughs> what a fucking guest, man. They just want to preserve their um, power hold. That's it. They're not looking to change shit. Yeah, and then with Trump as well, facts. And Biden, well, I mean, with Biden, like, what is he exactly going to change? I don't really remember... That's the thing with Biden. I don't really know what the fuck, like, his big policy push is, personally. I still don't really know. <laughs> like, does anybody? Because, like, the only thing I really know that Biden really ran on is he wasn't Trump. That was it. Pot and Investor with a five. If you want to see good Wings content, watch PKA podcast clips. Yeah, I've watched quite a few of those. Infrastructure? Wasn't that Trump's thing, too? We saw how well that turned out. <laughs> I don't know. I can't afford this shit! I can't afford this 
That's the thing. It doesn't matter who gets in fucking office. Shit doesn't really change. Like, people freaking out over, like, who's president and shit like that. I don't know. Like, it's kind of pointless. Because in all reality, shit doesn't really differ that much. You fucked. Bro, I've been walking around for a minute trying to find anybody to kill. Did they all leave? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So let me see. Let me get to these um, chats. So Gustavo Bravo with the five. Amazon busting the wig upon U.S. employees. Don't mind it, though. It just means extra hours and a bigger pay. Thanks for the content. Waking up super early. Let me get... Wait, isn't it Prime Day or whatever today? So you guys got to work for that, right? That was one of the companies that was, like, trying to recruit me out of college was Amazon. For their, like, corporate office or whatever. I don't know. I know somebody that worked there and said, yeah, they, like, literally work you to death. No matter where you're working. And Manny team with the two sub row. Let's play him off tomorrow. Yeah, I'll invite you after this match. And then Dylan Jewel with the two. His whole campaign was Orange Man bad. I mean, that's kind of what I took away from it personally. But I don't know. Like, I can't think of, like, any big policy thing. I mean, like, Trump obviously was the wall shit. And then, you know, Obama was the change stuff. But Biden, I can't really think of, like, that one big thing he was, like, campaigning on. Robin Ibor with the five. Do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. That's right, man. You got to. Don't let your dreams be memes. Oh, fuck that. That was a certified retard moment. Not my finest hour right there. <laughs> Bruh. Let's see. So Manny team with the two. Gustavo, I feel you. I work 10 hours today at Amazon. Bruh. Like, I've heard the shit, like, in the UK, Amazon, like, it's so bad. Literally, people have to piss in bottles because they have to meet their boxing quota. <laughs> like, that's pretty fucking bad. Thoughts on E3 2021? Very disappointing overall. I would say is the number one thought. Like, almost unnecessary. Like, completely. Like, they did not even really need to hold E3 this year. Because they didn't show off shit. Like, most stuff was already pre-existing games we already knew about. You literally only voted for Biden because he wasn't Trump? That was your only expectation? <laughs> well, I guess you got that W, man. He definitely is not Trump. So, GG well played. Did you see the take two panel? What the fuck were they thinking? I don't... F who fucking knows, man? It's just some corporate bullshit to act like they actually give a fuck about something other than money. That's what it all was. Like, they don't really care. Bro, this is the thing. No company actually cares about this bullshit they champion. Like, oh my god, we believe in equality in the video game. No, you don't. You believe in getting as much money as humanly possible every single year in your salary and bonus. Like, it's really just fucking stupid. Like, people fall for this shit, though. It's quite sad. I don't know. Like, how do I put it? Like, motherfuckers literally actually think <laughs> a company cares about them. And it's really cute. I don't know. 
Like, you actually think they give a fuck? I hate to tell you, they really don't. They really fucking don't. Who saw the H3, H3 versus Crowder debate? Bro, I wouldn't even call that shit a debate. It was just a fucking shouting match. Opinion on Far Cry 6? I haven't played it, so I don't really have an opinion, but... I will say, the more I see the game, the worse it looks. So, Gustavo Bravo with the 5. I'm working 12-hour shift right now. And Dreamcast guy looks like a balding rat trying to grow out his facial hair. Some people don't look good with facial hair. Bro, if your facial hair is, like, patchy, you should just shave it. Like, you're not doing yourself any favor with that. Like, if it's patchy, it doesn't grow in full, you should just cut it off. Like, you're not doing yourself any favor keeping that shit on your face. Like, people do it to look older. That's the thing. Facial hair ages you. So, it's people who have, like, a baby face or whatever. Or a double chin. That's the big one, too. People do it to hide their double chin. And, <laughs> yeah... But, I mean, if it's patchy, it just makes you look even shitty. Can we get the groovy effect? Yeah, I got you, man. Groovy! There you go. Like, if I grew out my facial hair, it would probably be patchy. I don't grow it out. I shave every morning, so... Personally, I don't really like facial hair. I think it's irritating. Where was that RPG? Fuck. There it is. One shot left. Easy. Easy. Can we get the bleep? Yeah, I got you. There you go. I had to remember where that was. I remembered it's on my actual like mic mixer. Oh, I forgot to get my mouse earlier. Fuck. I ordered one of those new final mouses. I got the Hades. It's really cool, man. And I forgot to go pick it up from my front desk. Shit. I should be testing that out. Did I get the clip? Yeah, I have the clip. I just forgot to add it to the soundboard. I've got them, like, in my folder ready to go. But I just forgot to click and drag them over. PC Game Boy with the 5. I do wish we could get a Bad Company 3 campaign. Miss Sweetwater and the gang had to had great ads to making fun of other FPS games. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened to Bad Company. Like, I don't know why they never continued that. Like, Bad Company 2 was a huge success. Like, it... What the f... Hold up. <laughs> Yo, hold up. My whole computer just fucking froze. Alright, I think we're good. What the fuck? Dude, my thing just freaked the fuck out. Damn. I don't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> but we're good now. I don't fucking know, man. Like, it just froze. I opened up Task Manager. Everything looked fine. I don't fucking know, dog. No idea. Who knows, man? OBS is probably trying to fuck me. They're like, oh, this stream's going too smooth. We gotta fuck this up. Yeah, we gotta... Groovy. We're groovy now. I don't know what happened. Like, that was weird. I don't know. The joys of live streaming, right? Like, you get little fun moments. Like that, I guess. What was this dumbass shooting me for? What do you think of Elder Worlds 2 trailer? I mean, it's fine. There's no gameplay, so... 
it's just kind of there, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't really get hyped over trailers anymore. I've kind of learned my lesson from that one. Dead Island being the number one case. So let's see. Giga Chad, 21 with the two. Damn, bro, calling my double chin out. RIP, man. It's all good. Do what you got to do, bro. And John Martens with the five. Hey, Griffin, watch Marlon Gaming Nation latest stream timestamp 354. He says Halo would look better if it were a PS5 or Nintendo exclusive lol. Yeah, we can take a look. Let me write that down in a second. Hold up. The fuck is my pen? Where is... Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. Let me get that real quick. Marlon Gaming. Then what is it? 3854. Alright, I got it, man. So Ghost 200 with a 2. Can I have a keep that same energy? Yeah, man. I got you. Keep that same energy. And Unknown Soldier with a 3. I agree. Watch Marlon Gaming Nation. Alright, yeah. We can take a look, man. For sure. For sure. Have you ever played Hitman? I played Hitman Absolution. That's the only one, though. That is the only Hitman game I've actually played. McGroovy. Gotcha. Groovy. There we go, man. It is always groovy. You interested in Metroid Dread? Probably not. If I bought it, I'd probably never play it, and it would just be a waste of money. I don't know. I don't think that'd be a game I would probably play. It's kind of a habit I have when it comes to my Switch. I both I buy most of Nintendo's first party games because typically they're all really good for the most part. But I end up not playing very many of them because they're just in genres I don't typically go to. Oh shoot. Oh, I killed that motherfucker even after the game ended. Nice. So L Dragon Loza with a 25. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Hey, Griff, you hear people are trying to cancel the actor that plays the Falcon because people were saying his character and Bucky are gay, and he denied all that, so now people are pissed because they said the show was baiting? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. Motherfuckers need to get a life. Oh, my God. What was the other shit that happened recently? Something very similar... Bro, that's like all the fucking K-pop stands, though. They all think, like, oh my god, dude, all of the fucking members of this band are in homosexual relationships. With I don't Dude, this is so fucking weird. It's probably a bunch of horny, like, 14-year-old girls. That's probably literally what it is. I don't know, man. That sounds like some major Twitter energy, though. Like, goddamn. Like, imagine wanting a Marvel character to... <laughs> like, you really are just upset because a Marvel character isn't gay. Like, what? Who fucking knows, bro? Mandy team with the two. Let's play. Oh, shit. I forgot to fucking invite you. My bad. Oops. Yeah, next match, I'll remember. I'll remember. My bad, dude. Yeah, bro. Shippers from Twitter. That's some major Twitter energy for sure. So you generation with the two people are trying to cancel the Factorio dev? What did he do this time? In this time, I mean, like, just in general, because I don't fucking know. Did he say a mean word? Bro, you'll literally get canceled for doing anything these days. Like, eventually that shit's going to wear off. Like, nobody's going to fucking care after a certain point.
He pooed his pants? Oh, shit. That's not a very cash money move. Ant-Man goes in people's body, then expands? Yeah, for sure. Easy way to kill Thanos, right? Still don't... Dude, there were so many ways they could have fucking killed Thanos, but nah, of course not. Gotta make it another movie. Raging Boar with the 5, sub gamer. I'm watching from my phone. I tried updating my motherboard audio driver and it freaked out. Oh, shit. Hopefully you can figure it out, man. You know, you're in my thoughts and prayers, but appreciate it, dude. Hopefully you get that sorted out. Able with the two, I'm canceling you for laughing at cancel culture. All right, man, do it. Give it your best shot. Imagine getting rich off of selling an Among Us nugget. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty lit, though. I mean, that's a pretty cool flex, bro. Like, I sold a fucking chicken nugget for 100k. That's pretty cool. So, they were trying to cancel him because he retweeted someone on Twitter. Now... Um they didn't like wait he retweeted someone on twitter so now they're trying to cancel him for using twitter's feature damn <laughs> uh, then they tried going on steam forums and call him transphobic but it increased the purchases and ratings lol damn bro maybe i should buy the game i like pissing people off How much is the game? Like 50 bucks or whatever? 20 bucks? 30 bucks? How much is it? It was just payday today, so. Sussin Gaming? Bro, don't expose. Some people were pissed about the nugget? Why? Why the fuck would you get pissed over a fucking nugget? That shit's funny as fuck. 30 bucks? That's not a big deal. Yeah, I can buy that. I Fuck it. I, I don't know if it'd be a type of game I would play, but, you know, just to piss people off, I'll buy it. I forgot what game I bought. Oh, yeah, the other night I bought the Battlefield Ultimate Edition because... <laughs> fucking boomer dude was like going, oh my god, dude, it's harmful to the video game industry. And if you buy this, you're hurting the industry. So I was like, fuck, better pre-order. I don't know, man. I genuinely enjoy pissing people off. And just doing the opposite of what those people say. So, SYS Lewis with a 5. I'm going to get a pre-built PC specifically for the Oculus Quest 2. For VR gaming, if it could handle that. Could it handle most regular games? Yeah, definitely. Bro, if you're playing VR on a PC, that's just about the most demanding thing you can ask a PC to do. So, yeah, definitely. You'll be fine. So, Factorio is basically top-down Minecraft, but you build your own factory. Is it a game that you make money? Because, bro, if it's like one of those fucking things like Stardew Valley or whatever, where you have to optimize space to make as much money as possible... I low-key get fucking addicted to that shit. So I may actually like that. I don't know. I like, games that you can make money in, I really fucking like. Like, bro, I used to play um Adventure Capitalist or what? I think that's what it was called. It was some really shitty mobile game. But the idea of making a fuck ton of money in it just kept me playing. Because I'm like, oh, fuck, dude, this is pretty cool. You play Slime Rancher? Yeah, I do. I have quite a bit of time on it on Xbox. They gave it away for free one month with gold, and I was like, oh shit. I'm gonna try it out, and I got fucking hooked.
It is exactly like Stardew Valley. Oh, fuck. What's the one Fate anime you don't like? All of them except um, Fate Zero. That's about it, man. I only like Fate Zero. The rest are pretty shit. Shout out Sean Ranklin, Big Ups Liquid Richard, facts bro. Gotta pay respect to the OGs. I remember in Saints Row 2 you could buy stores and make passive- Yeah, I did that a lot. Fate Zero's lit? Yeah, it's the only good fate. The rest are fucking trash. So, print stick figure with the five. The devs behind sense a cyberpunk ghost story. Refused to censor the or censored the Switch version. And SJWs got whiny about it. So, I bought it to piss them off further. I mean, good for you, man. I do the same kind of shit, to be honest. Like, whenever somebody gets pissed off over a game, it makes me more likely to want to buy it. Just, you know, to further piss them off that the sales increase. I can't afford this shit. Is Fate Unlimited Blade Works good? Not really. It's like a fucking dating show, bro. It's really shitty. There's like one good fight in the entire fucking show. Yeah, it's not very good. I'm gonna buy the Sky. Wait, you gonna buy the Skyward Sword Amiibo? Yeah, I have a couple of them. I found a couple for forty-seven dollars, and I bought them because I figure long-term they may be worth a lot more. So we shall see. We shall see. Ace of the five, yo, Darman tonight? Maybe. We'll see how things go. I mean, recently we've been having a lot of shit to watch, so I haven't really had time for it, but... Yeah, possibly. Tranquility with the two. Don't search up the 25th island of Greece. Alright, I won't. No worries. You have my assurance I will never look that up in my entire life. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bro. I, I promise I won't look it up. Did he just say Unlimited Blade Works is a dating show? I don't think we watched the same show. What the fuck? Yeah, we did, bro. Like, what? Probably at least the first season is literally the motherfucker and that Ren bitch. It's literally the entire fucking, like, first 17 episodes. Then you get into the dog shit. A first-time magic user beats the most powerful servant in the entire fucking faint universe. Talk about plot armor. That shit is so fucking bad. So fucking bad. I am not reading your name out loud because your motherfuckers are trying to catch me lagging with it too. Can't give much, but wanted to support the channel. Appreciate it. I am not getting clipped reading your name out loud, man. Sorry. I appreciate the $2, but nah. That is not worth it. Some motherfucker will clip that and try to get my fucking channel taken down. So, Devastator2000 with the tier 1 membership. Appreciate it, man. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, and then Lizvik with the 3. Where do you lean politically? I'm not going there. If you don't know, that's better. Let's just put it that way. The less you know about my political stances, the better. Because I'm not a political channel, and I don't want to, like, inject that into my fucking channel at all.
So Raging Boar with the five. The SJW complaining made me buy Doom Eternal three times. I mean, fair enough, man. You got a point. Devastator 2000 with the five. Griffin Gaming making morons angry is fun most definitely. Absolutely, man. Best job in the world. You know? <laughs> you can just have fun with shit and make money at the same time. It's an easy clap. I'm definitely based. Based on what, though? Based on a true story? So, Tony Esquire with a 5. I purchased a 3-month Game Pass Ultimate card for PC. 44. Did I fuck up on that buy? Got an Alienware R11 Liquid with a 3080. It's running well for me. So, personally... I would not buy Game Pass Ultimate if you're only playing on PC. Just get regular Game Pass for PC because it's only $10 a month. And Ultimate is $15 a month. Because you don't need Xbox Live Gold and you don't need console Game Pass. And that's what Ultimate gives you. Ultimate gives you Game Pass on console, PC, and Xbox Live Gold. If you're only playing on PC, just get regular because you don't need Gold and you don't need the console Game Pass. So... May have not been the best buy, to be honest. You probably overpaid by like $14 if you don't have a regular Xbox as well. Robin McClellan with the five. Have you watched Black Clover? And if you haven't, you should. It's a great show. I mean, to be honest, man, I just really cannot get into anime anymore. Like, I've legit tried, and I just literally cannot bring myself to watch it. Like, unless I have prior nostalgia for a show, even then I, like, have no desire to watch it for the most part. I don't know. Like, just something in my head clicked one day that I just can't fucking stand watching anime anymore. And ever since then, I just haven't been able to do it. Like, I don't even... I think it's more the art style, too. Like, it just pisses me off. I don't know. Either that or it's dealing with, like, weebs. Like, motherfuckers that vigorously beat their meat do a fucking drawing. Like, I just cannot vibe with that shit at fucking all. And when I look at that, that's all I think about. Is just some pathetic-ass motherfucker jerking their cock to a drawing. I don't know. <laughs> like, it just, I don't know. It just makes me not want to associate with it. It's like when you look at the motherfuckers who are, like, fans of Overwatch. It makes you not want to play the game because you don't want to be associated with that, um with that fucking community or it's like well i'll never play undertale in my entire life because the community is so fucking weird i guess that's a good way to put it griffin's anti-weeb yeah i'm not a fan of weebs like bro if you literally want to be japanese because you like anime you are fucking pitiful So, Sakratim with a 10, still waiting for Game Pass to be on Steam. I'm surprised that shit isn't on Steam yet. I think Microsoft's just holding out. But I think they're incredibly stupid to not have it on Steam. It worked wonders for EA with EA Access, so I don't know. I don't know why it's not on there. They need to put it on there. Offenders with the 5, they don't make video game ad campaigns like they used to. Remember how hyped the ads for Halo 3 were? It made releases feel like events. Or even like the Call of Duty ads where they used to do like the stay at home shit. They had like the, when everybody was taking off work or whatever. I remember that. Then Titanfall had a pretty cool ad campaign. What else? Gears of War 3 had a fucking awesome ad campaign. I don't know. What's my favorite fight scene in Fade Zero? Oh, that's easy, bro. <laughs> that's a very easy choice. Ryder versus Gilgamesh. Easy. Hyper with the two. Enjoy the two. Have a good night. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much.
Only clowns don't watch anime or read manga. Nothing is better than that. Mm, not really. Most anime plots are extremely surface level and very predictable and very stereotypical and just overall not very intelligently written. I mean, there's a reason why it's literally a comic book, bro. You don't look to a fucking Marvel comic for a deep and, like, entrenched story that's, like, really well thought out, full of plot twists that really make you think. Like, it's a fucking comic book at the end of the day, and that's exactly what anime is. I don't know, man. Devin L with the five? Do you know if the $15 of... The Axles is on Steam. I don't want to use Origin. I'm not sure, man. I have no clue. I haven't looked. Anime be having deep stories, though? Not really, man. Most anime consists of plot armor and unnecessarily complex stories so that they can shoehorn shit in later to explain it. It's kind of the way it works. Like, look at Death Note, bro. That shit was fire until the ending. They ruined that shit. And that just shows you the fucking... The people writing that stuff are not on that same level. Like, how do you fuck up something like Death Note? It's amazing to me. Like, you have such a well-written piece of, like... Even, like, literature, I guess you could say. Because it was, like, a novel or whatever. And then you just fuck up the ending that bad. Like, it just shows you that the fucking anime writers or whatever literally put themselves into a box where they have to come up with some bullshit excuse to fucking end things because they don't think things through all the way through. So, that's the thing. I don't know. Offenders with the two. The Kevin Butler ads for PlayStation were good, too. I don't remember. Wait, I remember those, yeah. The ads were good, but the PS3 was fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck the PS3. So, a British potato with the two. Is the prophecy true that you are in fact a gamer? Yeah, man. Putting the gay in gaming every single day. Scotty man with the two. Just be a Far Cry New Dawn. It's actually pretty fun. I think that's on my wish list on Steam. I'm probably get it when it's like 10 bucks. I kind of want to get Far Cry Primal again. I want to become a, you know, spear chucking caveman again. That was a pretty good time. Noodle Master to the two. I prefer cartoons like Clone Wars to anime. I mean, to be honest, man, I don't really like either. When I was younger, though, I definitely liked anime more than cartoons. Like, I never watched, like, Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network or any of that type of shit. I mainly just watched Naruto and Bleach. That was about it. But now, I don't really watch anything animated. Hell yeah, bro. Still rolling? Let's go. Fuck, he got me on the reload. Unfortunate. Omega419 with a 2. Hairs, the ODST live action trailer was the best? Bro, I don't remember that shit. I don't think I ever saw that one. I'll have to look that up. And then you generation with a two, you want to be a Ooga Booga spear thrower? Yeah, man. Hunting saber tooth tigers and shit. It's a good time. I don't watch TV. I don't watch cable, but I watch like Netflix and shit like that. I have HBO, Netflix, and Hulu. If that counts as TV, I guess. I don't fucking know, man. Why does my voice sound more squeaky than usual? I don't know. Must be the weather. No fucking idea. So... 
Pojo with the two? Any shows you do like? Like what? Are we talking like just TV shows in general or anime or what? Um, I guess TV shows I like. Hmm. I like Better Call Saul a lot. That's a really good one. That's probably my favorite TV show. Griffin, what is your favorite anime and why is it Pokemon? Funny story, like, I love Pokemon, I love the cards, I love the games, but I hate the fucking TV show. Ash is, like, the most unlikable character in anything I've ever watched. Like, he's such a fucking pussy. That shit pisses me off, I don't know. Would Scarlett Johansson be considered a MILF? Is she over the age of 30? Well, he's 10 years old in that show. Bro, I watched Pokemon when I was, like, 6. And even then, I thought he was a fucking bitch. Like, motherfucker literally caught, like, really powerful Pokemons. Like, oh, time to let it go. Like, bro, who the fuck evolves a Caterpie? And then fucking lets it go. Bro, that shit always pissed me off. And then he never evolved his fucking Pikachu either, which always pissed me off. It's like, bro, Raichu is better in every single way. Then the dude encounters, like, legendary Pokemon on the fucking regular. Not one ball is tossed in their direction. Like, are you fucking joking me? I fucking hated that shit as a kid. Like, literally playing the games and then watching the show. I'm like, what is this dumbass doing? Because, bro, like, every fucking fiber in my being was like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? R.I.P. Greninja? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Bro, and then Ash is like the biggest loser in the show too. Like, he never wins anything. He's just a fucking bitch. Like, he's literally just such a fucking bitch. Like, the dude never wins a fucking Pokemon League. He loses all his fucking gym battles. Like, he's just such a fucking loser. I don't know, bro. It always pissed me off watching that. Even as a kid. Like, it just literally made me think, this is like some fucking retarded kid who doesn't even know how to fucking throw a ball. I don't know. Like, as a kid, it pissed me off. Ramoon 5654 with the 5. Just watched Ghost in the Shell in Jinro last night. I can vibe with 90s animes. I personally cannot just because, like, the animation looks so rough to me. I don't know. That's the thing. Is like somebody... What was the show? The Berserk show? The dude who just died, right? Like, my friend begged me to watch that shit back in high school. And I remember, like, I literally had to force myself to sit through that. It was miserable. Like, it was so bad to look at. I mean, the plot wasn't great either. So I had to, like, sit through that. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of old, old animes, personally. But I guess it just depends. Offenders of the Two, I feel like you would like... Pokey awesome, funny as fuck. Bro, what the fuck is that? The real goat is Bakugan, bro. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. Bakugan. Bakugan was just like mad cringe, though. Like, why did they even need the little fucking um, balls when you could literally just. You like, you still had to put down a card. I don't know. I never got that shit. Like, I don't know anybody who actually played Bakugan. Everybody just wanted the little balls. Danny the Foot with the two. What comics do you like? Not manga, just comics. Um, none. I, I've never read a comic book in my entire life. Like, Right Hand of God. Not one. So, I literally cannot answer that. So, Adrian Navarro with the two. Gamertag is Praetor Chief on Xbox Live. Yeah, I'll add you after the stream, man. I don't want to pull up the Xbox app because I have a feeling that shit would dox me. Because it'll say, oh, logging in, and it'll show my email address.
Old Bakugan was actually okay. The new one is awful. They made a new one? Bro, they're bringing Bakugan back? What the fuck? I thought that shit died. I thought that trend died quick. Like, Bakugan were not around very long. The Invisible Man with the two. Hey, bro, how are you doing, my dude? Pretty good, man. Can't complain. You know, just having a good night. Bakugan is dead. New Bakugan has no rules. That sounds a lot better. So, Francisco the Disco with the five hated Pokemon when I was young because my sis traded a Power Rangers game for Pokey Red and I didn't know what words like Ember meant and couldn't play it. <laughs> Bruh. Damn. That fucking sucks. I don't know, man. Pokemon when I was younger was like my... That was like literally my life. I would lived on those games. Like I was high key addicted to them. Absolutely. The amount of time I spent on Pokemon Emerald and Pearl is like probably an ungodly thought. Like that shit's probably mad depressing to think about now. So Stefano Cueto with the three. I enjoyed your video earlier today. Awesome, man. Appreciate it, dude. Glad you liked it. I'm trying to mix it up from just the typical console shit, so hopefully, you know, hopefully everybody did enjoy it. And then Offenders of the Five Pokey Awesome is a parody by Ego Raptor. Basically, Pikachu gets pissed at Ash for not evolving him, lol. I'll take a look at that, man. That sounds like it would, um, help satisfy my rage. Raging War with the two? Is there a way to change Battle Pass seasons in MCC? Yeah, you just um, flip through the different pages. They're all still there. You can use your season points on whatever you want to. Who is your favorite porn star? Mm, that's kind of tough, man. I don't really know. That's really tough. I'm not sure. I would have to think about that. I'm not really familiar with the names of a lot of the porn stars on fucking Pornhub anymore because I haven't really been on it recently. And when I was, I typically just watched like the amateur channels instead of like the fucking browser clips and shit. I don't know. I remember when Pokemon first hit the States in 98, thought it was passing fad that wore out its welcome. Yeah. Bro, that shit's crazy. Dude, Pokemon's the most successful franchise in all time. Like, that shit is wild. The amount of money Pokemon makes is fucking insane. But, I mean, if you think about it, Nintendo literally prints money with those cards. I don't know. Pokemon is the best porn star? Yeah, let's go with her, man. Oh my god, dude, Pokemane is so fucking hot. Holy shit, dude. Them kids are suckers for Pokemon cards? Bro, I have way too many. I've spent an ungodly amount of money on Pokemon cards in my life, especially recently. But even as a kid... Griffin Gaming thinks all games are just entertainment when instead some games are an art form. Then they're not games. Games are meant to be entertainment. That's like saying a movie is not supposed to be entertaining. Like the fuck? What's the point of watching a movie you don't enjoy? What is the point of playing a video game you don't enjoy? Like, that's so dumb. Invisible man with a 10? What the fuck, man? Thanks so much, dude. Hey, bro. Due to your PC versus console videos, I recently made the Switch. I have Doom 2016. It's very difficult for my Xbox. 
but you're right it's twice as much fun but i ended up dying quite a bit all good bro you just got to stick with it and i was trash at keyboard and mouse at first so stick with it i'm glad you made the switch and you're enjoying it man i'm definitely glad i did it but really appreciate it dude Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of artistic games. Like, bruh. If I'm not having fun playing it, I'm not touching it. So Dark Souls isn't a game? How the fuck is Dark Souls not enjoyable? Just because a game is difficult doesn't mean it's not enjoyable. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's dumb as fuck. Game hard, game bad, yeah. I'm not one of those people that wants video games to be considered art. Like, just ruins it. Like, The Last of Us 2 is an art game. That game Journey, where you walk in a straight line for 30 minutes, is an art game. I'm not a fan of that type of shit. I need to go get something to drink. I forgot to fill up my cup before this, so probably after this game, I'm going to go grab... Actually, no, I'll do one more. After this next game, I'm going to go get something to drink because my throat's kind of getting dry. So, Jet Black Threat with a 2, Madara, Obito, Minato, Sage of Six Paths, Naruto. Who are you choosing? So, plot, armor, and bullshit fucking plot mechanics aside, definitely Madara. He's more powerful than all of them. So, Ghost 200 with a 5. I have a PC, but still use a controller when I play games. Yeah, I mean, do whatever you want, man. That's the beauty of PC. You can play games in whatever way you want. You know, you get the beauty of choice. So, Travis with a 5, as a gamer born in the late 80s, I can't stand old retro or 16-bit games. Keep up the great content, fam. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. I don't know. Like, that type of shit should not still be as prevalent as it is. Like, there was a time and place for 8 and 16-bit video games. It is not 2021. Naruto is way stronger than Madara, so the only way that they could defeat him was to have Black Zetsu stab him randomly. Got it. Got it. Yeah. You know, he was he was so much more powerful, they had to use some bullshit tactic to kill him off. Got it. Uh-huh. Tell me more. Or tell me about how Naruto's literal power throughout the entire show is literally fucking plot armor. Like, that's literally the form his fucking power takes on. Plot armor. Like, it's not even a joke. Like, it's almost self-aware to a point. Like, oh yeah, here's this fucking character that's the main character that really doesn't even need to be in this fucking show, but... You know, his only ability comes from something that's inside of him that takes the form of plot armor. <laughs> like, what? I don't know, bro. That shit always pissed... I hated Naruto as a character. Like, Naruto literally did not need to be in Naruto. Like, the entire story of Naruto is actually the story of the fucking Uchiha. So, like, he literally did not even need to be in the fucking show. I don't even know why he was. It made it worse. Like, that's why I always liked Bleach more. Because, like, Naruto is just a genuinely unlikable character. Oh, shit, I didn't even see this fucker. But how bad is he to not be able to kill me point blank with a fucking shotgun? Like, damn. Maybe I'm not that bad.
All right, somebody shoot up. Come on. Somebody jump up. Bro, I just want to shotgun some motherfucker point blank. Damn, nobody's coming up. Fucking pussies. Bro, I'm trying to finesse these motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Fuck. Where was he? Oh, shit. They're both sitting up there camping. Can you go on the blog TV rant? No, nah, I can't, man. I wouldn't fly these days, unfortunately. So let's see. Jet Black there with a two, Madara or Sakura, who you betting on? I'm gonna go with Madara, man. You know, I think I'm gonna stick to my homeboy. Is he hurt with the eight? The real art game is something like Portal, in my opinion. It was unique and fun. I mean, fair enough, yeah. No combat, really, either. I mean, I guess you could technically classify Portal as a walking sim, but it was done right. Aw, oh, shit. So, Hayden with the two? Hot take Naruto could have been about Sasuke? Absolutely. It should have been. It absolutely should have been. It would have been a better show. SYS Lewis with the five. You're right about Naruto. That was my favorite. Then I branched off and realized how bad it was plot wise. To be honest, bro, like Naruto's actually fire plot wise. It's just Naruto makes it bad. <laughs> like he just genuinely ruins it. Especially the part with fucking guy. Like when Naruto shows up acting like fucking Jesus. I don't. That shit pissed me off. And saves his life. Like. That's so fucking corny. Like, remember when people used to die in Naruto? Well, that kind of got thrown out the window. <laughs> They're like, oh, wait, undo button. Everybody gets fucking revived. I, that's what I fucking hated. Bro, especially about the pain fight. Like, pain literally hits the fucking undo button and kills himself. Making that entire fucking storyline with him completely fucking pointless. <laughs> like, come the fuck on. I don't know, bro. That shit pissed me off so much. Did I watch porn today? No, I didn't. I didn't even beat off today, bro. I woke up, finished um, editing and uploading the video. Then I had some lunch, went to the gym, had dinner at my... um family's house and then came back and started streaming basically that was my day so tony esquire with the five my motivation for pc gaming was caused by the one thousand dollar price tag for ps5 and series x figured why not pay two thousand plus for a pc then scalpers did me a favor hey man whatever gets you there you know good things happen to people you never know, bro. You know, I guess it was meant to be. Andrew Tomashashka? Hopefully I said that right, man. Appreciate the two. Braid is an art game. I haven't played that, so I'm not familiar with it, to be honest. I'm not really too familiar with it, to be completely honest. I, I've heard of that name before, but I'm I'm not, like, drawing a mental image of what that game is. A bag of Takis with a two. Thoughts on Boruto and Black Clover? Mm, Black Clover never watched it, and Boruto's dog shit. AQ Honest with the five. Pain fight wasn't pointless. Showed only thing stronger than plot armor is friendship, lol. Yeah, and even if you get fucking 18 metal rods shoved through your fucking body, you're still somehow able to fucking, you know, make a comeback. Uh-huh. Like, bro, I fucking hated that shit. So fucking much. They did pain so dirty. 
Same with Madara, though. Artie and Melnikov with the five. Never really watched Naruto, but from the sounds of it, it sounds like they've gone full Dragon Ball where death carries no consequence anymore, basically, yeah. It, it's, dude, it gets so fucking bad at the end. So bad. Bro, Naruto got so shit I never even finished it. Like, I grew up on that fucking show. Like, I watched it from, like, 2004 all the way out till the end. And when they killed off Madara in the bullshit way they did, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. I never finished it. Don't know how the show ends or anything like that, but... You know? They fucking ruined it. The typical anime ending. Complete fucking garbage. Like, I swear to fucking God, one of the requirements for being an author of, like, an anime series is not knowing how to kill off a good villain. Like, they literally fucking ruin every single show with the same fucking generic, oh, well, you know, I made this enemy a little bit too powerful, so I gotta find out some bullshit way to get rid of him. I don't know. That shit pissed me off. Raging Boar with the five. I'm handicapped on my left hand, and I seek out hard games. WASD is rough for me. Games journalists have no reason to whine. I mean, fair enough, bro. But I mean, dude, they have a very they have a very strenuous job. You know, they have to play video games and give their opinions on it. Like, that's a pretty hard job. Like, come on now, we should we should cut them a little bit of slack. <laughs> like, come on now. Come on now. That, that's a pretty a pretty um rough job to have to perform every single day talking about video games getting paid for it like oh my god so let's see crush your bad 64 with the five i use my stimulus check to get the xbox series x and ps5 Someone paid me extra to find a Series X, so I bought a Series S for the downstairs TV. Fuck it, why not? Yeah, go for it, bro. That's a good use of the stimulus check. I mean, go for it. If I would have gotten mine, <laughs> I would have used it too. <laughs> but I never got one. I didn't qualify. <laughs> so sad indeed. So let's see, Offenders of the Five video games can be art. I just fail to see how The Last of Us 2 can be considered art. It's a generic over the shoulder game. Bro, that's the thing is like, but most art, quote unquote, now is like the most random shit. I don't know. Like, bro, some of the shit people call art, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, bro, some people, like, will buy, like, pieces of art where some dude literally just took fucking paint and splattered it on a canvas, and they go, like, oh, my God, dude, that's worth a hundred million dollars. Like, what? Bro, it looks like some fucking retarded child got a hold of some fucking paint cans and just splattered it all on a canvas. Like, why the fuck would I want that? Like, who wants that hanging in their house? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, modern art is a money laundering scheme. Absolutely, fucking lutely There is no other reason why people would fucking pay that much. Dude, I should just stick a fucking dildo on a piece of glass and be like, oh my god, it's an introspection into how sexual the life of humanity is. And probably rack up like $50,000 like, oh fuck. I need to hang this in my fucking villa. <laughs> like... Dude, that's this is the next wave too, alright? Like, you drink paint, alright? Now hear me out. Then you vomit all over the canvas, and then you sell it. And you're like, oh my god, man. It shows. It's a reflection of the gluttony of society. How we're surrounded by such beauty. And we just devour it all until eventually it overtakes us. Like, bro, you can make any fucking bullshit sound like it has a deeper fucking meaning. Dildo, thank Griffin. Bro, I'm just gonna stick... I'm gonna get, like, a P-50 
piece of like square glass, okay? And I'm just gonna stick a fucking massive dildo on with a suction cup. And I'm gonna call it modern art. I'm gonna call it modern art and be like, you know what? This belongs in a gallery. Like, modern art is a fucking loser's fucking purchase. Like, bro, most, like, modern art sculptures and everything are literally just fucking trash. Jet Black Threat with a 2. Watch the final fight between Naruto and Sasuke. I don't know, man. I, I just... I have no desire to even see how that fucking shit ends. It pissed me off so much. The only way that show could ever redeem itself is if fucking Naruto died. Which I don't believe it happens at the end of Shippuden, so... Unlucky. Offenders of the Two Dark Souls is good art. Last of Us 2 is modern art. I mean, I guess. I just don't consider a video game art. Like, calling something art, in my opinion, is more of a... Is more of a fucking um, negative than a positive. Skyline 24 with the 2. What's so bad about Halo Infinite and Battlefield? They're bad because they're new, man. The boomers are upset. Battlefield doesn't have a campaign, and Halo is different than Halo 3. So, bad because new. Basically. It reminds me of how OnlyFans girls say taking naked pics is content. I mean, bro, I'm, I would be pretty content looking at some fucking ass pics all day, but yeah, I wouldn't really call it content. So, SHB with the two NFTs are retarded. Or retarded. I mean, I... Yes and no. I think it's really cool that you can own the digital right... Like, just making the digital rights of something into an actual, like, tradable asset is kind of cool, to be honest. I don't know. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Like, it's cool that you can sell, like, the rights to a song. And instead of just having, like, a legal paper in a fucking safe, it's, like, an actual digital asset. I think that's kind of cool, personally. Makes it a lot easier to transfer or whatever, so I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, personally. I missed your super chat. I'll scroll up in a second, man. Oh, fuck. Hold up. Let me scroll up. Yeah, I did miss it. My bad. So, Agent Nibbles of the Five, Castlevania anime recently. The main villain, Dracula, overpowered every MC and let his sons kill him because he had a mental breakdown mid-fight. Bullshit. Bro, it's every anime ever. Every anime makes, like, this really badass villain and they always kill them off in the most bullshit ways just to let the fucking hero win. It's really annoying. But yeah, that sounds like it's par for the course for any fucking anime. And then, let's see. El Dragon Loza with the 20? Really appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Griffin, you got to watch the Yongya video on the whole Blue Box Studios conspiracy theory. How long is it? I mean, possibly, yeah. We can take a look at it. So, birthing person with the five Borto is so trash that it had a time travel arc just so they can have a pre Rasengan Naruto in Bort. Jesus fucking Christ. This is pitiful. Truly pitiful. <laughs> Travis with the three. This boomer looking forward to infinite. I'm glad to hear it, man. I'm glad you're not one of those people where it's like, you know, new equals bad. So that frost wolf of the five from where I live, one artist charges 60 bucks per bird photograph from his gallery. Bro, you can literally just look up the picture of a fucking bird and print that shit out at fucking Office Depot and frame it for less than 60 bucks. Like shit. I don't know. I don't get the whole art craze, to be honest. But then again, here I am, a grown ass man spending thousands of dollars on a fucking Pokemon card that's literally just a piece of art, I guess you could say. So maybe I'm not one to talk. 
You know, maybe I'm just a massive fucking hypocrite. Triggered Senpai with the five Black Clover ripped off Naruto and Bleach Heavy, and the show literally lives on ass pulls. There's nothing creative about today's anime at all, lol. I think the worst anime I think I've ever seen that copies Naruto is My Hero Academia, bro. Like, don't even get me started on that fucking dog shit. That show is literally the gayest fucking shit I have ever seen in my entire life. The main character's main ability is crying like a fucking pussy. It is literally designed for fucking pedo bait bullshit. Like it's a pedophile's dream. It's the most pitiful shit I have ever seen in my life, bro. Like if any motherfucker comes here and tells me that my hero academia is good, I'm going to ask them. How is living at home with your parents at age 40 feel like? Because that's literally the crowd they're going for. Like, it is so fucking pitiful. Like, I have never seen a more pathetic fucking anime in my entire life than that shit. Like, how anyone with a fucking functioning brain could even make it five episodes into that fucking dog shit absolutely fucking amazes me like that is bro like right hand to god i would rather i would rather watch naruto fucking filler for the rest of my life and nothing else than 10 episodes of fucking my hero academia that shit is so bad like oh my god Like, doesn't uh, My Hero Academia even have, like, their own little bootleg Akatsuki as well? Who's worse, Ash or Deku? I'm gonna say, a or not Ash, I'm gonna say the fucking loser for My Hero, because Ash is a fucking ten-year-old, bro. You know, he can fall back on that excuse a little bit. But that fucking motherfucker who's, like, high school-aged... And he's that fucking bitch made? Like, bro, he should just, like, end up on the end of a rope. Like, dead ass, bro. Just kick the fucking chair from under yourself at that point, bro. You have nothing to live for. Just fucking leave this world. If your main ability is crying like a pussy, just, just stop. Just literally fucking stop. I don't know, man. <laughs> like, fuck that motherfucker. I hate that dude so much. I have never hated a fucking character in any anime as fast as that dumbass. I mean, none of the characters are likable at fucking all, though. That's the thing. So let's say... Or, fuck. So, Fenders with the Two, you could say you are a hypocrite. Okay, good night. Yeah, man. For sure. Hippo Zoned is my daddy. I even gave him a gift for um Father's Day, man. Because, you know, that's what I do. But I appreciate it, bro. L Dragon Loza with the 10. Oh, dang. The video is 30 minutes long. Don't know if that's too long of a video. Also, did you hear the creator of My Hero Academia was also getting canceled because he said Deku and Bakugo aren't gay as well? That is the other thing that I hate about My Hero Academia as well. Every single fucking time I see anything about that show, it's always some weird-ass dude. Or female, too, because there's a lot of females that do this shit that are literally trying to, like, imply that these fucking 14-year-olds are, like, literally anally fucking each other on the regular. Like, bro, they're drawing literal fucking child porn of these underage-ass characters. Like, it's so fucking dis- Like, it's literally a pedo bait anime. I swear to fucking God. Like, dead ass. That's what it is. Like, they give all the fucking female characters big ass tits that are hanging out. and sh Like, it's- It's so obvious. It's literally Naruto, but a hundred times worse with fan service. That's it. 
That's every anime, Griffin? Exactly. It's pitiful. It's pitiful, bro. That's why I just can't fuck with anime anymore. Like, it's so... Like, I look at it and I feel disgusted. I don't know. I just can't fuck with it anymore. Birthing person with the five when your child attraction quirk activates near the populated local playground. That's right. Bro, I don't know. It's like they took everything cool about Naruto, got rid of it, made almost every single fucking character the level of a Naruto filler character, and called it a show and said, you know what? My Hero Academia. That's literally what that show is. Kono Suba. I wanted to kill myself when I was sitting through that. Next. Oh, shit. Russian name that I cannot read, but appreciate the five, man. <laughs> Sorry about that, bro. I'll, I'll have to pick up on my um, Russian lessons, but I appreciate it, dude. What if every time you push the joystick on a controller, it made a moaning sound? That'd be kind of hot, man. Could I hook up a vibrator as well? Wait, what? Did I say that out loud? My bad. Oops. Birthing person with the five. I like making threads on slash v slash thing. Infinite isn't a remake of three or reach, so I won't play it just to trigger the boomers with their own argument. Damn. True. It's a good move, man. That's a called infiltration. That's some big brain shit. And Travis with a 10. Thanks so much, man. Now nah, boomers need to get over it. New games are good if developers aren't afraid to push good or push good features, graphics, and story without bending the knee to cancel culture. Rated MA used to mean something. Dude, I wish there would be more mature games. Like, or not mature, adult only games. Like, if they got really fucking gory and shit, that'd be really cool. There used to be like AO games. I remember seeing them in Blockbuster as a kid. So, NN Demise with a two. Check out. Shoujo Ramoon Heart Heart to you as well man I don't know what the fuck that is And I'm probably not going to look it up I just don't fuck with anime anymore man I can't do it It's a hentai Yeah I'm not going to I'm done Yeah, if it's a hentai, I'm definitely not watching that shit. Y'all are trying to catch me lacking. What the fuck? So, Adrian Navarro with the five Dracula dying by his son in Castlevania isn't an example of a powerful character dying to bullshit. Dracula had an apathy or an epiphany. Epiphany? I don't know what the fuck that is. And allowed himself to be killed? The fuck? That makes no sense. I don't... Bruh. The anime fucking... Terminology is not... Is not sticking. See ya. See ya. Only anime I even like anymore is just Dragon Ball and Naruto. I mean, I guess that's fair. I never got into Dragon Ball. Why is Halo Infinite bad? I think you used clickbait and it worked. Yep. I mean, I'm sure we're going to watch some video tonight about somebody bitching about Halo Infinite, so that's why I put it there. Z-Herb with the three, what do you think about the fairy tale anime? Isn't that just the fucking fan service shit? I never watched it, but I know of it.
the fuck? Alright, my mic just cut out. Bro, I'm telling you, OBS is fucking spooky tonight. The fuck? It muted my mic on its own. Yikes. So, Z Herb, did I read yours? I don't remember. If it was. Well, I don't know. Did I read his super chat about Fairy Tale or nah? I don't know if my mic cut out or not. I didn't look. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll double dip. So, Z Herb with the three, what do you think about the Fairy Tale anime? Never really watched it, but I've heard it's fan service. That's about it. I did it? Okay, we're good. Fairy Tale is basically my hero. Nah, Fairy Tale has a lot more tits, bro. Like, it doesn't make it a secret why anybody's watching that. Can't be double dipping, though, man. Can't do it. Why is proper horror movie okay, but games, I'm guessing, it seems okay to censor? I don't fucking know, man. It's a good question. So, Russian name again, and I'm not sure what it says, but appreciate it, man. Thanks for the five. Is Golden... Camu, bro, what? Camu, bro, I don't know how to fucking say that. Or Jojo Gayer. I mean, considering I've never heard of the golden thing, I'm gonna just say Jojo because I've seen some pretty gay shit from that. I don't know though, man. Your ad here with the two. You've heard anything on Demon Slayer? Nope. Absolutely nothing. At all. I don't even know what the fuck that shit looks like. Sword Art Online, Attack on Titan? Wait, what? Bruh, Sword Art Online is some cheeks. Who is my favorite OnlyFans girl? Your sister. Oops. Didn't mean to expose. Don't... If you don't like anime endings, don't touch Demon Slayer. Yeah, I don't really plan on it, man. To be honest. Hey, yo, what's her account name? Uh, I'm not going to expose that badly, man. I'm not going to expose that badly. Travis with a two plays some team SWAT with pistol only. I don't know if you can do it that specifically, but I've played SWAT before on Halo. Like, bro, I used to be really fucking good at SWAT on Halo 5. I think I used to be diamond on that shit. Like, dead ass. But yeah, I could probably add Swan in here. You have no sister? Oh, shit. Yeah, cause she's my wife now. Oh, shit. Exposed again. Xbox is better than PC and Stadia. Uh, that's going to be a no for me, dog. That's going to be a no for me, dog. Happy Pride Month, Griffin. Thanks for always putting the game gaming. You're welcome, man. I do my best. I'll do my best. The Amico is the best. Groovy. Indeed, man. I'm very hyped for the Intellivision Amico. Greatest console ever fucking made on God. 
So, Peach with a 2? Have you played Hatred? No, nah, but I've seen it. I mean, it doesn't even look really that fun. Like, I was going to buy it because of the controversy surrounding it, but then I watched gameplay out of it. I'm like, eh, this game kind of looks like shit. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it doesn't even look fun. I don't know. It just looks really clunky. Scotty Man with a 5. I've never seen a more boring protagonist in anime than Kirito from SAO. He's so bland. The typical cool gets all the girls without trying. Cancer cell. Bro, that's because he's supposed to be like the self insert for the fucking weebs. It's like supposed to be like, oh, dude, he's a fucking no life gamer who sits in his room all day playing video games. I can relate to him 100%. So we're going to give him as few personality traits as humanly possible so that all these fucking weebs are like, oh my god, dude, imagine if I was in this fucking anime, bro. I feel like I'm touching her, dude. Like, that's literally what it is. It's supposed to be like the generic self-insert, so all the fucking weebs are like, oh my god. SYS Lewis? No, you're not banned, bro. You're good. It won't let you super chat? I don't know what's up with that. Try it on a different platform. Your ad here with the two exposed you. His sister seven. Maybe a seven out of ten, but that's about it, bro. You ain't gonna catch me lacking. Travis with a five. I ranked up to Brigadier General three in Reach playing SWAT. Back in the day, I only used the pistol. Alright, fair enough, man. I used to play... SWAT, Slayer, and then Griffball. A lot on Halo 5. Those are my three game modes. I was a fucking monster at Halo 5 Griffball. Like, that shit was so easy. Raging Boar with the 5. My relatives are coming for the 4th. Hope we have some hard lemonade or something. That'll be fun, man. I don't think I'm doing anything for the 4th, which is unfortunate. Russian name that I cannot read. Appreciate it, man. With the five, there is an episode in Golden Kamoi. Or Kamoi. Bro, I don't know how the fuck to say that. Where all the male characters consume aphrodisiac and clap each other's cheeks. Seems like your type of anime. Oh, shit, bro. That sounds hot as fuck. Intense male sex. You know, that, that sounds right up my alley. I appreciate the recommendation, man. I can't afford this shit. Have I watched The Shining? Yeah, I've watched both of them. What is the sequel called? I forgot. It's The Shining and then what was the other one? Fuck, I can't remember. It was something weird. It was like Doctor or something. Doctor Sleep? That was it, yeah. Bro, like, that's the weirdest fucking sequel name I've ever heard of in my entire... Like, bro, hey, did you guys see the sequel to The Shining, Doctor Sleep? It's like, what? Bro, I swear to fucking God, bro. Stephen King focuses more on little girls getting raped by monsters than the actual title of his book. Dead ass. It's like, bro, that little, that, that is a motherfucker who is fucked up in the head. Bro, Stephen King is probably a legitimate pedophile. Like, dead fucking ass. Like, in almost all of his books, it's like some little girl gets raped by a fucking monster. Like, he literally probably is into that type of shit. He's probably beaten off writing it. That dude is nasty. Like, there's one book I remember... I forgot what it was called, but, like, this little girl gets raped by a fucking spider or something. Like, why the fuck would you have that type of shit in a fucking horror movie? Like, you can make a horror book or movie without, you know, a child having to go through that shit. Like, it's really fucking weird. 
Yeah, it's nasty. He's related to Epstein. That's not surprising then. Like, that shit's just gross, dude. Like, that's a fucked up mind to be fantasizing about that type of shit. So, Jet Black Threat with a 5, whose Mongekyo Sharingan would you take between Shishui, Itachi, Obito, and Sasuke? I would say... I would say Obito's is the most useful. Being able to, like, go into your own dimensions, a big... That's a big W. Agent Nibbles with a 2 in the book. It's the girl has an orgy with the guys. Yeah, it's... Dude, it's fucking weird. Yeah, and it. I remember that. I remember hearing about that too. Like, dude, it's really fucking weird. He is like literally probably an unironic pedophile. It would not be surprised if one day they raid his fucking house and find like just fucking terabytes of child porn on his computer. So Noah Humbard with the five, is it bad that I can't stand, that I can only stand up to 60 FPS and nothing further in most games because I don't like texture drops in quality too much? I've never really noticed texture drops in quality in video games where I've had a higher frame rate. I don't know, man. Try turning off motion blur. That's probably your problem. It's the only thing I can really think of that would cause that. Stephen King is a Charlie D'Amelio fan confirmed. <laughs> Bruh. Probably true. You hate TikTok? Yeah, I'm not a fan personally. TikTok is kind of shit. So what MMOs do you play? None. I don't really play MMOs. I don't have the time for them to be honest. PowerPoint slideshows at 60 FPS. Sounds like a great update. You know, Microsoft's really stepping up their game there. Get fucked. What the fuck did that guy think was going to come from that? Jumping into a dude with a gravity hammer? Like, just go ahead and give me the kill. Oh, shit. Metal Gear Mando with the two. What's up, gamers? Just dropping in to say love you. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. The worst is the commentary community on TikTok. Yeah. Bro, it's not even a commentary community. It's just a fucking hive mind community. Like, TikTok is like a collection of degenerates, man. What platform am I getting Battlefield for? I have it pre-ordered on Steam right now. So, I'm probably going to stick with that. Have I ever searched the dark web? I mean, I've been on it a couple times. But I don't really freak one out. My friend had a laptop in college that he used to go on tour and shit like that. So he showed me a bunch of stuff, but that's about it. So Manny Team with the two. So Mando, I love watching your videos. Keep going, bro. Appreciate it, Manny. 
and shout out the Mando. The video was good today. Appreciate it, dude. How does one even get access? I don't remember the whole process, dude, to be honest, but you can look it up. It's not hard. It takes like five minutes, maybe, to get it all set up. You just download the Tor browser and you're basically good to go. Have you heard of the creep show art drama? I don't know who the fuck creep show art is. So no, I, I have no fucking clue what that is. So L Dragon Loza with a five. You see they re-released Cyberpunk on PS4 and the official PlayStation Twitter said that people should play it on PS4 Pro for the best experience, bruh. There is no good experience for Cyberpunk 2077 if we're being honest. Like, dead ass. That game is busted. Alright, I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna go um, refill my drink real quick, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. And then we'll get to watching some videos.